Tricolours are nationalist emblems were burned at almost half of loyalist bonfire sites this year. That's according to a Belfast City Council report. And that's despite a £200,000 peace funded scheme aimed at making bonfires on both sides of the community more positive cultural events. Judith Hill reports. Bonfires burn in traditional 12th of July fashion in Belfast and this year at almost half of bonfire events, so too did flags. That's despite a £200,000 council programme to promote positive expressions of culture at these events. On a bonfire in the Lower Shankill this year, three tricolours and a Palestinian flag were burned. The flags appeared on the bonfire um a short period of hours prior to the bonfire actually being lit. Um, I have to say I'm disappointed, but I'm also not surprised. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, I believe that we succeeded in our overall goal. We brought over 800 people together in Lower Shankill on that day, had a huge community festival. £200,000 has been spent by the council in a bid to remove the problems associated with bonfires. Community groups who got grants had to agree that flags or emblems would not be burned. But at half of these bonfire events this year, the opposite happened. The programme has been a success over the years. Year on year, it has improved. And the report from the police and the fire service indicate that the pa July just passed has been the most successful year of this programme. They've had fewer call-outs. How can it be a success when so many tricolours and, and emblems are still being burned on these? There are always people who will do this sort of thing. But we have plans in the future that, that, that it won't be tolerated. Sinn Féin has raised concerns about the programme and says regulations are being flouted without consequence. But the DUP believes much progress has been made. In the short strand, community workers say bonfires in neighbouring communities present them with real problems. I think it's time to move on, celebrate your culture by all means, but not in a way that's going to harm other people, harm relationships and harm the environment. The Council are promising sanctions for those who break their rules from next year. But in the meantime, much work needs to be done to ensure this tradition of burning flags dies out. Judith Hill, UTV Live.